I'm Gary Keene, and with the SEMO Grotto, we host these Introduction to Wild Caving classes. Tom Moore is part of the Moore Cave System. Uh, originally, well, it's been known about for years. Uh, originally started to be mapped by Gangnam Tex Yoakum back in the 50s when they started doing uh, organized mapping of caves. Back in 2012, I believe it was, uh, a dear friend of mine, a guy named Mark Brewer, uh, actually lives next door to the cave and wanted somebody to go caving with, so he dragged me into caving. Uh, got introduced to the Seymour Grotto. Uh, Mark and I did a bunch of caving, this cave, several other cavings. Cave is one of those things where you either check it off your bucket list, you're good, or it hooks you. And this one hooked me. <laughs> Jim Cadwell, who's in charge of the Perry Park Center, and I uh, were discussing caving. And uh, we came up with the idea of doing an introduction of wild caving course uh, sponsored through the City of Perry through the Park Center. It's been a fantastic success. Uh, the city has bought equipment, the helmets, the knee pads, etc., that you guys are wearing, and uh, they handle all the logistics of making the classes happen. Uh, myself, Josh, and Brittany uh, guide the classes and, and just bring the general public, uh, usually 10 at a time, through the caves, introduce them to wild caving. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> well, most people have their experience to caves has been something like Onondaga Cave or some of the commercial caves, and they're used to going into a cave, having fluorescent lights, having pavement. And that's not what a cave is. Uh, wild caving, as you're finding out, is mud, it's dirt, uh, it's absolute just the natural beauty. So what we're doing is introducing people to the world under the feet of Perryville. There's 700 plus caves under our feet, and uh, it's just a whole new world down here that you just do not experience in real life. Uh, so our purpose is just to get people a feel for what's under their feet, and it's been very well received. Uh, the kids especially love it, absolutely love caving. This is Brittany Cooper, uh, this is Josh Cooper. They've been instrumental in making the class happen. Uh, they're really the backbone of the program. I have another question for you. Go ahead. Okay, let's say this thing caves in. It's not gonna cave in. And we're, and we're trapped in here. Who do we eat first? <laughs> AJ, because she's not in the pictures. <laughs> hey, don't be fooled, a lot of this is layers. <laughs> Actually, we bring food. These packs have got a lot more than you might think in there. We have food, we have water. My husband initially took the class and then encouraged me to come through it. We brought our kids through it. They are in love with caving just as much as we are. They've done this cave probably six or seven times, along with several others. We help the other kids through it. If there's kids that are afraid, we bring our kids and they help. Um, and I just. I enjoy caving and I enjoy being around kids, so I encourage the kids to come to the class. Well, I grew up in Perryville my whole life and I tried to get into caving and it was, it was very hard as a kid. There was a lot of stuff going on in the caving community that was keeping people out, so I seen this course come up on my newsfeed and Facebook a few years ago and decided to take it. And, I've been doing it ever since. I, I think it's a really neat thing that people can get to experience what's actually in Perry County. You know, you hear about the caves all the time, but you never get to see them. This is a way people can actually experience that. Yeah, we bring our kids in the cave. Uh, we have an eight-year-old and an almost 12-year-old, and they both really, really enjoy it. They climb, crawl, I mean, they, they're Tom's probably better swimming. than us. <laughs> We get all the gear home and we'll throw it on the fence and spray it off with the garden hose actually. It makes it a lot easier to run it through the washer. <laughs> uh, the ceiling has got lichen, uh, looks like fool's gold. We always tell the kids it's gold. It's always fun to watch them. Wow, we need a mountain net. <laughs> it's hysterical. It's I spend my days with kids and then underground on the weekends if I'm not at soccer or cheerleading. <laughs> As a mom, I was a little skittish at first having my kids come in, but it's just like an underground playground. They are climbing and sliding and getting to see a different part of the world. Uh, it's definitely worth letting them come down and see it. Uh, keep in mind they will be muddy and they will be wet by the end of it. <laughs> If you're thinking about getting into caving, I would suggest coming through the course and if you really enjoy it, join the grotto and 
we can get you into some really cool places. To find out more information, you can check out our Grotto Facebook page, it's Simo Grotto, or you can go to simocaves.org, which is our website. And anything past that, you can always check out the Perry Park Center.